What's up YouTube fans? Today I'm going to take a look at something really different and special. This is the Transformers Vault. Complete Transformers Universe collectibles and memorabilia. Basically artwork and little pieces from Transformers history. This is by Pablo Hidalgo and it's got a forward by Peter Cullen in it. This side you got a nice Optimus image. On the back you got Megatron. A little bit about the book. And Peter Hidalgo is all things sci-fi fantasy, author of G.I. Joe vs. Cobra, The Essential Guide. So I assume he makes other books like this. Comes in a nice slipcover hard package like this. And on the inside of the book you've got Optimus Prime in various forms. The Bayverse, Beast, and original Power Master. And then on this side you got Megatron. G1 Toy, Beast, and again, Beavers. And let's take a look. Now it's got some cool things. I'm not going to go over everything in this book because it would just take too long. But here's the front cover. I think that's Age of Extinction. I can't even remember which Prime from the Beavers. Here's a nice piece of artwork there. Cool. Here's that original box art that we see over and over on the G1 toy boxes. Very, very iconic. Here's that forward from Peter Cullen. I'm not going to read it, but obviously pretty nice that he wrote them a uh, forward just for this. And so this was the comic art depicting the Autobots. Here is the G1 box art for Optimus Prime. And here they talk about the Diaclone line, which started the whole thing, right? Transformers were adapted from Diaclone and from Microman. Pretty cool. There's that G1 Megatron. And here's some of those original toys. Early Blaster. Prototype as a cassette player. Pretty cool. Here's some prototypes as well of Bruticus. Pretty neat. Some concept art. There's the G1 Sunstreaker and it looks like a uh, early prototype done in wood. There's some original G1 toys. Here's a fold out with some Into the World Transformers. This is kind of like something you'd get inside the box. Transformers box. Pretty neat. There's a G1 Jazz. I wonder how far this goes in history. <laughs> you got some roller skates and lunchbox. I do remember seeing the lunchbox. I never saw this. Hide and sleep tent. You got a little cart, push cart, Transformers cart. I never saw that. These slippers, I think I remember seeing those. I never saw this Decepticon Decepto pack. You have a, oh, you can change from Autobot to Decepticon. Got a mask, got a gun. I never saw that. Here's some more cool artwork. There's my favorite character and figure from G1 is Jetfire. Here's that proof of authenticity, the rub symbols. Remember if you, those, when those came out? And then they KO'd that too. <laughs> Here's Milton Bradley, Transformers the Game. Transformers Activity Center, which you'd build out of cardboard, essentially. You have a cardboard star screen there. These were pretty cool. These were on the boxes. You get the little tech specs. You put this on there, and then you could decode it and see their tech specs. And then you got their bios there. So each one came with one of these. You got Sunstreaker, Trailbreaker, a bunch of guys. Pretty cool that they included that. Again, another piece of nice artwork. I believe all of these were on the box art. Let's see. Battle scene from the G1 box art, yeah. So this scene you're seeing right here is from the box art. Pretty cool. Well, it seems like there's a lot of box art in here. There is our infamous G1 Devastator. Still good today, still being re-released, reissued. Cup and Hot Rod points. So back in the day, you'd clip the UPCs for these points, and then you'd send those points in for mail offers. 
So you get mail or items which are like discontinued or exclusive figures like the Omnibots, which you can only get through mail order, which they don't do anymore today. It's just something kind of a lost, lost art. There is Fort Max. Was previously the biggest Transformer ever made until we got Unicron. Stingray, and we got the Datsaurus Japanese. Here's some of the G1 Dinobots and Seekers. G1 Optimus Prime and Trax. More artwork here. This is concept art for our MicroMaster Deluxe Vehicle Transformation Sequence. Here's a Fat Mega Supreme, which they never made him like that. These are Action Master concept for Oh no, sorry, above right. MicroMaster Quick Switch Concept Art, okay. And then we get into G2. We got G2 Optimus, G2 Megatron, G2 with their crazy wild colors. For all you G2 fans, not me. Looking at you, Dr. Diecast. Then we had a Goba, a G2 Autobot. Right here, it was kind of a crossover. A sub-series of cars called Gobots. Hasbro purchased Tonka became the owner of the GoBot's name. Hasbro used the name first as an individual G2 Autobot and then as a subseries of cars called GoBots. In 2003, the GoBot's name was applied to a series of youngster-focused play school transformers with aesthetics and simple transformations. Interesting. I totally forgot that they purchased Tonka. All right, Beast Era. We get into Beast Wars. Some of these toys are still legit today. And then the fandom goes online. Here's the Beast Wars cartoon. More Beast Wars here. I was never really into Beast Wars. Then we get into Robots in Disguise, Unicron Trilogy. Unicron. There's that unreleased toy. So this is the Robot Planet Unicron, at least to the 25th anniversary. An unreleased 1986 prototype of Unicron in robot mode based on his first appearance in the Transformers in the movie 1986. Look at that. They just released this guy as a action master from figure, uh, what's the name of the company? Super 7. So you can get this guy now. Here's some concept art. Oh, and there we got the Primus. Pretty cool. And Cyber Key from Transformers Cybertron line. Then we get into something I really loved, which was the Alternators line. This is what brought me back into Transformers way back when at Walmart. So we've got Camshaft and Smokescreen. I really loved these things. There's a uh, unreleased Alternator prototype of Smokescreen. Then we started getting some MP, MP01, one of my favorite ever. Uh, that's also something that got brought back Transformers, I, in my opinion. MP Starscream. Here we've got some in, from the Classics line. Cheetor from the Classics line. Really cool. Then we got some animated, Transformers animated stuff. And now we finally got to the live action Transformers, the Bayverse stuff, which I really wasn't into, but I, there's a whole series of fans from these movies, so it definitely generated interest. Here's a lot of those movie designs. We have Bumblebee and Jazz, and over here we got Stealth Bumblebee and Bone Crusher. <laughs> we had some Mr. Potato Head, Optimus, and Bumblebee. Here's some crossovers with Marvel, Captain America, Hulk. Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, comics, and then we started getting building to comics. I never really got that far into the comics, but a whole world of comics out there for Transformers. Transformers number one, pretty cool. This is an epic cover, All Are Dead with Shockwave. Lots of people know about that one. And I'm not going to spend too much time in the comics, but you got some new coloring for some of the characters in the comics. Different coloring, I'll say. Pretty cool. Primus. 
Yeah, the comics really brought a lot of characters that we didn't have in the G1 cartoon. So they filled in a lot of gaps. Here's some comic book crossovers, G.I. Joe and Transformers. Very cool. We did get some toys out of that, especially SDCC got some toys. Then we got the collector's edition stuff. I put out stuff like this, the box art. Um, it was pretty cool. I, I got one of them and I realized they're just the G1 toys reissued in new boxes. More comic stuff. Here's that Hearts of Steel stuff. I never got into that either. What is this? Looks like some artwork. Is this a coloring page? <laughs> Let's see what this is. Comic art boards. So it looks like you could color it if you wanted to. It's really neat. Illustrator quality paper for full bleed and regular comic book pages. Finished art prints. Okay. That's pretty neat. They gave us an actual art print. Some more artwork. Transformers art. I mean, it's the world is there's so vast. The amount of artwork out there. If you ever go to TFCon or a, any other con, you'll see there's typically an artist alley. Place where all the artists you can buy artwork, you can commission artwork, a whole world just behind art. And here we got the DVD release. What is this? Ooh, look at that. You got a cell, a transformation. So let's see. Removal animation cell. Optimus leads the Autobots in episode three of the first season of Transformers. That's really cool. Look at that. Animation cell. <laughs> this book is really cool. It's really got some just neat history and like cool stuff to look at. Alright, we're only halfway through this book, so I'm gonna keep moving. Borrowing tactics from G.I. Joe. Here's some of the G1 cartoon. What is this? Season 1 episodes of the Transformers on VHS. If you're my age, then you know what VHS is. Some more cartoon. Mythology of Cybertron. Uh, talks all about Cybertron. There's a drawing of Unicron. Oh, that's cool. That's like original artwork. Let's see. This is... Rare artwork for the official poster for the 1986 Japanese release, trans Japanese poster for Transformers the movie. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know this was in here. I feel like I should hang this. I should get this framed and hang it. <laughs> That's pretty neat. And there's the movie poster that we're all familiar with. We've seen, that we love. Transformers the movie. Some people hate it because a certain character died, but most people at this point love the movie. I really, surprisingly, never got to see the movie in theaters when I was younger. I kind of had to wait till I got older. And at that point, it was not in theaters, so I ended up you know, watching in my own theater. So here's stuff all about the movie. Here's a fold out animation of Rodimus. Pretty cool. Here's some G1 toys. Let's see. Optimus talks with a new friend to Tommy Kennedy. Oh, right here. Introductions of repackaged episodes season 1, 3, and 4 of the Transformers Japanese Autobots logo used. Dubbed version of the TV show Japanese Decepticons. Interesting. Alright. Then we start getting into some of the Japanese shows that came out and Beast Wars, of course. I wasn't a huge Beast Wars person, but it's some nice artwork here. I do like Leo. Leo Prime. Beast Machines. Again, I was not around when these shows started taking off. Unicron Trilogy, of course. 
Again, another show I kind of missed. I wasn't really into Transformers Energon or Transformers Cybertron. I was MIA. I was off doing other stuff when all this came out. Transformer Animated, I did actually see. Um, I never really got into the toys because they were weird looking, but the show was kind of neat. And then I got back in. Transformers Prime was one of the shows I actually did watch. Very, very well written show if you haven't watched it. All of the shows are available on Tubi. So if you want to watch them, you can go find them on Tubi. And then finally we got the movie. It really revived the Transformers franchise. Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox. A new design for all the characters. Optimus, Megatron, Bumblebee. New merch. I never got any of the sneakers. I know Sneaker Game. There's a big Transformers sneaker game out there. They're worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I never really got into the, the sneakers. But if you're a sneaker collector, you can get into that. Oh, look at that. We got an original Transformers the Movie screening ticket. I think it's just a reprint, but that's pretty neat. Coming to the end here. There's that awful <laughs> design for Devastator. The new design. There's the only Jetfire I never liked was this old Jetfire. It looks like that. He's like an old man Jetfire. Here's some of the newer designs of Optimus and Bumblebee. And the future. Launching War for Cybertron. So these were games. So if you haven't played any video games, these are all designs from the video games, which are pretty fun. And actually, some of these figures are getting re-released right now. New designs of the War for Cybertron video game characters. Optimus just came out. There's a Cybertron projection map. And then After Generation. So I wonder who wrote this. So in Japan, Optimus Prime is known as Convoy. Here is depicted a Star Convoy. Another show I never really got into. Galaxy. Megatron on the Dreamwave cover. So here's some Dreamwave artwork. Very cool. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for joining me on this little Transformers historical journey. Thanks to Niles for getting me this book as a gift. It was really, really nice Christmas present. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.